Welcome back to the Lisa Nichols Show. If it's your first time here, welcome. Where have you been? I'm excited because on this show, we share the tools that you need, you want, you desire to live that life that you say you want, to have the memories that you say you want, to have the experiences that you deserve to have in life. Here, as you know, if you are returning, you're part of the tribe. I love to hear from you. I love your comments. I love what you're talking about. So I love Edith. Oh my God. So you were talking about and speaking from an episode that I did called How to Stay Motivated and Excited. And I love your words. I love your words. You said, I recognize that I am under acknowledged and I'm going to celebrate myself more often starting what better time than today. I love it. When you recognize Edith, and I know you heard this in the episode, that the way you acknowledge you shows an example and provides an example for how everyone around you will acknowledge you and honor you and that you are the first example that they will get on how to treat you. And it's your job to give them the best example possible. I love it, girl. Thank you so much. Keep commenting. And then I love Monique. Monique, you were commenting on an episode that I did called Master One Lesson Before Taking On The Next. Whew, had, did I have a big time, hard time, and it took a long time to learn this lesson. And you said, I'm learning, you sound just like me, Monique, I'm learning that my ego and my action don't live on the same block. Yes, you, matter of fact, you wanna evict your ego off the block, out of the neighborhood, out of the zip code. If you can take it out of the universe, take it out of the universe, it's gonna come back. Believe me, who we are, we exist with our egos and ladies are she goes. But don't allow your ego to drive. Don't allow, the ego has to come along because it's the one that lets you get up on stage and hold the mic or it allows you to get in front of people and shine, sell that thing that you sell or do that thing that you do. Allow the ego to come along for the ride but don't allow the ego in the driver's seat. <laughs> so Monique, you got that girl. I'm so excited, so excited. And every other comment that I read, every other comment that you made, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep them coming. Fear lives in a category by itself and it's not the fear of speaking. It's the fear of what would happen if you don't say the right thing or what would happen if they don't like you or what would happen if you, so you'd speak all the time. You speak via text, you speak on the phone, you speak to friends. We make an association with speaking on a platform or speaking in front of a group of people. Really, it's not the fear of speaking. I mean, that's at the, the leaf at the end of the tree, but the seed is fear of judgment. Because talking is talking. Speaking isn't any different than talking. It's just, am I one to one or am I one to many? Am I standing in an office? Am I sitting at my desk? Am I at home on the couch? Or am I on a platform stage in front of a few people? So I, I believe one, we allow our fear to live, to grow, to fester. And without any action, it sits there and it becomes this molehill, becomes a mountain because we're building conversation about it. We're building commentary about it. So I'm not negating your fear, but I am asking you to challenge it. I am asking you to not look at, oh my God, I'm speaking to 30 people. Because whenever I speak I'm in front of 30 or 3,000 people or 500 people, I'm not speaking to 500 people, not at all. I'm speaking to one person who happens to be sitting in 500 seats. That there, there's an individual who needs to hear what you have to say. Either they need your education, they need your guidance. They need your heart and your compassion. They need your story. And I'm gonna sound a little harsh here, but when you allow the fear of delivering a message to stop you from delivering your message, you're actually being selfish. You're making your message more about you looking good than you're making it about people being inspired. The only reason why I've found so much success is because I was willing to be made a fool of so many times. I didn't know how it would land when people heard I had $11.42 in the bank. I didn't know how it would 
come across as an African-American woman when I started in my career for the first 16, 17, 18 years, over 200 pounds. I didn't know how it would appear being a single mom doing this business, working to inspire people whose son's father is in prison. I didn't know how that would come across. But because I was more committed to inspiring people than I was to looking good, people became attracted to my conviction. So if you're afraid of speaking, is it because you think you won't look good? Is it because you're afraid you won't come off perfect and polished? Because I know you can't be afraid of your message. You can't be afraid of the impact that it might have on someone, the determination it might give them, the resiliency, the liberation that it might give them. You, you'll never be afraid of that. And so I wanna invite you, if you feel like you're afraid of speaking, stop being so plugged into your presentation and become plugged into the possibility that your message will give to someone else. I don't, I'm not perfect. I'm not the best speaker out there, but I don't ever worry about my speech. I stay intentional about my message. And so I have a little mileage under my belt when it comes to speaking to a few people. And so trust me when I say, he needs to hear your determination. She wants to know about your space of forgiveness. He is interested in how you got up again when you were knocked down. She wants to know how you tapped into your unwavering faith. He could really benefit how you chose to get up when it felt like you wanted to stay seat, sitting down. She wants to understand how could you love the perceivingly unlovable and still keep going. He wants to know how do you stand in your power when everything around you seems to be crumbling. Should I continue? You're not speaking to a group of people. You're speaking to one person and maybe multiple seats whose message you have in your belly to help them keep moving forward. When you open your mouth, speak to inspire, not to impress. Now remember, this is not a monologue, nor is this a repetitive video that I say every time. It really is a conversation. This is a dialogue. I know I say it all the time, but action is the antidote for despair. And even in having an experience like looking at this particular episode, there is some level of action that you need to be in, that you should be in. And what that action is, is commenting. Every time you hear something, exercise your voice, especially in this environment, especially in this tribe, I wanna hear your voice. Every time you hear an episode in this environment, in this community, I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna know what ahas came up for you, what questions came up for you. Yeah, send me your questions. If this content triggered another question, ask me that question right now, like comment below right now and ask the question. But if it triggered something, went, oh, yeah, I forgot. And it's as important that you hear what you're thinking right now and that you hear what you're feeling right now and that you see what you're feeling right now. It's as important that you hear, see, and feel that as it is for me so that your body can literally adjust and go, wow, that's what I think. That's what I believe. That's how I'm feeling right now. So hurry and enter it in below before you forget it or before you get busy doing something else. And join this tribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that because I want you here. I want you, your family. Uh, we're community together. I'm your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And I really honor you. I really celebrate you. I adore you. I know, it sounds kind of crazy. How could she adore me if she hasn't met me? Because the spirit in me loves the spirit in you. The humanity in me loves the humanity in you. So I can adore you. And I do. And I believe in you too. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.